Hi, so in this clip I'm gonna show you how to edit some uh, save files, game save files and uh, I've chosen King's Bounty, an old DOS game uh, for this example I'm gonna start the game and uh, create a charter, save the, save the game let's, let's choose a knight, name him Bob, Bob the Knight, and um, let's see. Bob has seven thousand five hundred gold, and uh, we're gonna change that. Um, so what we need to do is uh, save the save the game, and um, open the save game file in uh, in our hex editor. So. Uh, now it's uh, now it's opened, and uh, we can search for uh, seven thousand five hundred. But it's not gonna find anything because uh, seven thousand five hundred is a number, and it's not stored as a string. It's uh, it's an integer, probably a signed integer. So let's uh, search for that, and here we are. Yeah, and um, uh, this this number represents in hex seven thousand five hundred. Uh, we can change that to something else. Let's say change it to this. Now it should be two hundred fifty-five. Uh, let's save the game and uh, open open the game. Load and let's see two hundred fifty-five. So, um, I guess that would be the maximum value. We're going to save the file, open the game again. Load it. And let's see. As you can see, the money is through the roof. <laughs> It's uh, it's too much. The game is glitching already, but um, I think I think this number isn't even correct. Uh, let's see. Hex. Yeah. So uh, this should be the number, but it's not. This should be the number, but it's not. Um, so, yeah, that's it. This is how you edit save game files. Save, save game files, and um, I've also written a, a small program in. Uh, in Java, uh, which which edits the saved game file, um, so if you run it, it will ask you the name of the, the name of the file. And then the maximum amount. Now obviously this is the real maximum amount but um, I figured out that um, if you enter this then uh, that's like the maximum amount uh, that doesn't make the game glitch so let's enter that 
now it's saved the hex editor will tell us that um, the file was modified and uh, if we wish to reload it let's reload it the values have been changed here and um, let's see what the, what the game tells us let's load it and uh, here we are lots of money here these are th like the most valuable coins in the game and uh, if we check this charter screen we also see that um, there's a lot of money here like uh, the exa <laughs> exact uh, amount uh, that I entered uh, there are other other values that we could change like uh, leadership or um, commission week that's like uh, how much money you get per week I think but uh, okay leadership 100 if we search for 100 in this file we're probably gonna get a lot of um, oh we're only one one hit yeah okay so let's let's change that to let's change that to this that should be like 16,000 something save and let's see load the screen and yeah it didn't change so obviously I changed the wrong thing let's change it back so why didn't it find it let's see decimal for 100 and in hex it's 64 and if I find Oh, okay. Uh, it searches for this um, in uh, signed integer. There are uh, four bytes, so it searches for sixty-four zero zero zero. But I mean, yeah, you get it. But uh, what we need to find is d it's 64 in hex or we can search for 64 in hex okay find all and it will show you that there are a lot of them and uh, we don't know which which of them is the right one so so what you could do is uh, play the game until uh, the value that you want to change is uh, unique like uh, one two three four five or something like that uh, it's um, and then it should narrow the search down for you I'm gonna post my Java program in the Lingobender forum and I'm gonna add a link in the description below below the video so if you're watching it from YouTube, it's below the video. And um, I hope you liked it. See ya.